Hello, I am Matthias Lötzke and within the next few minutes I will show you Cisco's embedded Linux development environment Elinos in its new version 6.0. Let's start setting up a project from scratch. We provide you with a full featured IDE based on Eclipse with specific additions to set up and configure an embedded target system. We can start using templates or we can combine feature sets like networking, multi-user capability and some other very basic configuration parameters and we will be able to refine them afterwards. Let's select QEMU as a simulator as our system's target so that we can see and use the resulting binary on my desktop computer later on. So now the project is being prepared in the background. Basic project configuration is now done. Let's refine this. Linus provides with a feature-driven approach. A feature usually is a combination of both kernel and user space configuration and with our toolset it is ensured that both kernel and user space match. So kernel is always individually tailored and compiled towards your specific needs. So we already have networking activated. Let's add an HTTP server to our embedded system. This is quite simple. I just select the HTTP server of my preference and I will now also configure TCP IP settings. Ah, okay, using DHCP is fine with me, so we are ready to continue. Let's save the project. We provide additional advanced editors. So, Linux expert might want her to alter some details of the Linux kernel and this can be done with our kernel editor. So now you can see there are some options already marked or not marked. These are depending on the choices you made earlier and you are free to modify and to add some features you would like to have on your system. Here you can also quickly and easily see and resolve dependencies from one kernel item to another. And in addition to the kernel editor, here you can edit your file system. On the left side you have your local file system, here you have the future target file system. Let's now generate a preview which will accurately show how the file system, final file system will look like. Here we go. That's what we will have on our embedded target. Let's now build our target. That's quite simple. We now build the complete project. And you can see the kernel is now being built from scratch in the background. It's specifically tailored according to your previous selections. And the user space is also being built according to your configuration details. This will take some time and afterwards you have a tailored system according to your needs. Now the complete project build is done and we are ready to start what we just created. Let's do this. Now you see the project up and running. Your target embedded system is now ready for application development. From this point of time you can focus on writing, develop a new application instead of setting up the Linux system. Thank you for your attention and if you have any questions do not hesitate to contact us.